All right, everyone, this right here is the Waveform Internet Package. This is a really unique internet service that Waveform has put together. They have many, many years of experience with 5G or Wi-Fi, all that kind of connectivity. They've done a lot of antennas and designs of systems, both for home as well as businesses. And this is their first go into actually providing the service, not just some of the equipment. So um, I'm going to go through... I've been testing this for about a month. It's in this early like beta test phase, uh, but you can get it online. I'll, I'll show you how to get it and how much it costs. I have to say there are some downsides to it that I want to speak to, um, but then there's some really good upsides as well. So um, I've been testing it at my home. I found um, the speed, of course. The speed testing is important. Everyone wants to know that. Uh, what's really cool about it is that it has uh, two different modems. So it has, both of these are PepLink devices. And it can have AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile. And there's some really key things here that make it different than just T-Mobile 5G home internet or Verizon home internet or uh, Cricket or Total or any of these other Mint, uh, you know, covered Mint internet as well. And one of them is that this is a legitimate service that they are actually getting. This is not a MVNO. And if you know anything about the MVNOs like Minternet or uh, total uh, wireless, those kind of things, um, straight talk, those are a lower priority. So waveform internet is not lower priority. Um, it's actually a little bit higher priority, and that's up to 1.8 terabytes. If you know about the uh, T-Mobile home internet plans, it's 1.2 terabytes. And then if you go down to like Minternet, I think it's one terabyte before they uh, further deprioritize you. doesn't always mean you're going to slow down, but waveform has more data um, before you get that and it is still classified as unlimited um, and then also you have multiple carriers like I said uh, so you have two modems so you're only going to have two options at any given time and they're going to pick which two based off where your location is so for me here I have T-Mobile I think in the smaller one here and then they put um, AT&T in the bigger one and then they're able to hot switch whichever one gives you the best speed or best service i'll go through a little bit of that here um with this device so um I, i'm not really showing the unboxing because there's not a whole lot to it the key thing here is that if you have seen some of my other videos i have 5g routers i talk about setting up even waveforms recent uh, pro link um you know they have that and you have to follow the steps for um for setting it up this one pretty much one of the big benefits to it is that it is you can't probably read it on the camera but it is step by step labeled here with stickers of hook this antenna here hook this antenna here plug in this ethernet cable from here to here step by step directions and then it also has a qr code as well as a text number that you can reach out to for support um on the the unit and it's really designed to be literally you plug it in they figure out all the settings so let me say it again you plug it in and they figure out all the settings. What's really cool, at least in this beta phase, I'm sure it's, as it expands it's different, but I'm literally texting the head of product at uh, Waveform if I have a question about this or if I'm saying, hey, you know, how's my signal doing? He is literally answering that uh, individually um, right now. So that's the type of difference that you get with this versus some of the other ones. If anyone's experienced trying to get a hold of Verizon or T-Mobile or AT&T customer support, it's terrible, right? Okay, so before I hop into the details, I do want to ask you guys to hit that like button right down below on this video on YouTube. And then also consider subscribing to my channel uh, to get more content like this. And don't forget that little bell icon so you get notified every time I put new uh, videos or content out. So uh, thanks for being uh, fans and please tag along in future videos. All right, so here I am on their website, and I just typed in waveform.com slash internet, and it uh, brings you to this page. I think it's kind of a hidden page right now because, like I said, it's not uh, not fully rolled out. You see there the green button says join the early access. Limited um, access, but you can sign up for it today if you want to. You can see they have multiple plans. And um, you know what they, what they show you here is that it's bonded and unbreakable, which means that it bonds your connection so that even if one goes down, your devices do not lose internet. That's very different than failover. Failover, your devices lose connection. It normally takes 30 seconds to a minute for failover type connections to recognize that they failed over and then switch. Bonded does not do that. 
Um, plug and play in the enterprise grade, this hardware is not cheap hardware. Um, and you find out that when you have to buy it, I guess. Um, but so the uh, Peplink B1, uh, that's here, the bottom one, that one by itself is $650. Uh, they don't list the, um, this is a BR1 Mini 5G Pro, I think is what it's called. Uh, that one's about $550. So I think it's $1,200 of equipment that they give you. So this is high-end stuff, very different than uh, the other, you know, uh, home internet brands that give you a much cheaper product. Um, and so here you can either um, buy them over a monthly plan, uh, you can see down here, or you can do an upfront uh, for $850. That, like I said, that's a $1,200 product that you um, will own it uh, after four months and you can keep these products. They're actually really good. Um, and then here you can see their internet plans. They have essential, smart, and complete. And what you see there with the essential, obviously, is that the 5G backup SIM is limited data uses is 10 gigs of data um, a month. And it has, you know, basic protection and cold fell over that. The cold fell over is what I was saying where, you know, your internet doesn't drop and then it comes back. So it's not bonded. But what you get with that is you get all the support, you get um, all the capability of this type of hardware, and you plug in your system um, as the main WAN to this guy. And then if your main system ever goes down, you're going to have a fast, reliable backup system. If you switch to the smart plan, which is the one I've actually been technically using, uh, that one's where you get the unlimited 5G SIM, you get the smart bonding, and you get the fastest speed. And so what this one is doing, like I said, you have two SIM, and that's going to vary. Now, there's still a little bit of gray area as far as, like, can I travel with it? And the question or the answer is, yeah, you kind of can, um, but it's really designed to be stationary. That's how these plans are done. Will it work? Yes. If you get to a place where you don't get signal, it will automatically pick the other carrier and use that. But, you know, they're not allowed to roam. So if you were in a place that um, has roaming signal, which is not a whole lot, but if you're out in the boonies, you're, you know, camping, you know, out in Yellowstone or something and, and there's roaming, um, that will flag and it's not going to immediately cut you off, but waveform will know about it. Um, and you'll probably be contacted to like, let's not do that. Um, but can I move this from here, my house to some other place, uh, around here and still get signal? Yes. And it, and it will work. Um, Verizon is the pickiest with it. And that's where, they're going to only give you the SIM for your area that has the network capability. So um, most addresses, you're going to be able to get Waveform Internet. Unlike with the carriers, you know, if I, in fact, if I log in right now, I think to AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, even though I have all their home internets, I can't get it at this address. But Waveform can provide it uh, for me at this address. So that's one of the big wins is that pretty much everyone can get this. Okay, as far as what's included, it's these two units. You have Ethernet cables. These are Cat 8 Ethernet, and then you get the power um, cord, and then they already come installed with the uh, SIM cards in there. And it literally is plug it in. Once it gets connection and it gets established, you're up and running. Um, and then if we look here, you know, this is what it obviously just shows. And then here you can see they're not allowed to explicitly call out which network, but you know which ones are blue, pink, and red. Uh, that's T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, and uh, AT&T of course so you can see where um, they get it and then here is where you can sh show that they're able to uh, bond two connections so let's say you get poor AT&T and T-Mobile and you get you know a couple megabits per second download and you get like half a megabit per second upload and you're like man I just need to get this stronger bonding can help with that it can take your very slow connections and it can help um, aggregate them together to get you a faster connection. What it won't do, and one of the downsides I've seen, is if I, I, I've gotten over a gig per second download with T-Mobile service at this property, um, and then I've gotten, you know, call it 300 megabits per second download from uh, Verizon. If I have T-Mobile and Verizon in here, I do not get the one gig plus 300 megabits per second. And that's because bonding takes overhead and throughput and it's using a tunnel like a vpn tunnel to do it so that's going to have limitations so it's not going to take a fast connection and make it faster um in fact if you have something like like i just said with a demonstration it would slow me down and i would get less than one gig per second even though i'm 
binding two of them together is because there's really not a service out there that, uh, at least cheaply, um, is able to bond a one gig connection. So the bonding is really about being safe and reliable uh, connection that does not fail. And then if you had a really poor connection, it would help bring that level up uh, somewhat. And now the other point to the bonding is that it will bond not just these two connections, but if you plug in another WAN connection to this B1, it will bond that one as well. So for example, I have other um, 5G home internet connections here in my house. I plug that in to this B1 and now it's bonding that one as well, not just the two that you get. And that comes included. So if you have Starlink, it's going to bond that. If you have cable, it's going to bond that to it. So uh, really cool stuff there. All right, so just scrolling down through here, you can see um, supported by real experts. These are the people I'm talking about that you actually get their a text number uh, to contact them or a form that I'll show you just in a second here. The other thing that's really cool is um, they fix problems before I even notice them. And, um, you know, quite frankly, I'd say this is a uh, could be a downside to some people. And that is that you can't log in and directly change the settings. Um, that's a little frustrating for me because I love to tinker, right? Um, but I, I have other Peplink devices and I've gone to them and the interface is a bit clunky. And in order to maintain control and follow all the rules they need to do with these SIM cards, they don't let you log into these devices and change the settings. That in even includes changing your Wi-Fi SSID. You can't change that or the Wi-Fi password by yourself. You do have to message them. I think they say it's like a two-hour turnaround during business hours that they will update that stuff. So that is a little bit of an annoyance for me. But the other uh, side to that is that they are able to help diagnose and fix problems. And because they have multiple connections, even if one goes down or gets um, you know, uh, messed up, they can still log in and fix it. They're just getting access to change the settings on their end uh, for these devices. And so, you know, that's kind of similar to like T-Mobile pushes firmware updates or whatnot to their devices as well. And you can log in and talk to them and they can reset connections and stuff. So Waveform does that. And what's cool, and they've done this for me, I had a text one night because I was up there messing with this and I was unplugging WAN connections that I had uh, added in here. And I got a text that said, hey, we, you know, we noticed... Um, uh, you got some wanes going down. Is is everything working okay? And I'm like, yes, like <laughs> it's working fine. I'm I'm intentionally doing stuff. So they're able to help um, alert you if something's uh, acting up or going wrong, and then they're able to fix that. Now the other thing that they did, and again, this was a little bit of catch twenty two, is that their plan actually has um, ad blocking uh, built in, and then they also have other security protections, right? So because they're able to send a lot of like all the bonding stuff is going through a VPN. So that stuff is all protected, encrypted from the rest of the internet. Um, but like I said, they, they're blocking um, any, anything they notice as malicious uh, traffic and whatnot. The downside to it was there were a few things of mine that actually uh, acted up. Uh, one of them was uh, some of my affiliate links. They wouldn't even open because it detected them as an ad. Now, I brought that up to them. They said, hey, thanks for that. And they actually fixed it. And like, you know, that same day, that problem went away. Um, the other thing I noticed was Roblox. So my girls play Roblox on their um, their tablets, and the Roblox server wouldn't connect. I reached out to them. I didn't even know which port it uses. He looked into it. He said, oh, let me open up these ports, and then um, that will uh, fix that problem. Sure enough, it fixed that problem. So some of that is because this is beta test, and they're, they're just um, rolling this out, and so I'm kind of the guinea pig, and I'm okay with that. But like I said, what's really cool is that they are in tune they are real experts that know their stuff and they're able to fix problems like that right away. So that's what's really cool about it. Now I know on this waveform has been working for quite a while to put this together because what they're really good at is understanding that there's a specific need that the customer has and they want it to be easy and robust. And that's why I think they haven't released it earlier than now is because they wanted to figure out how do we do this so that it's a good product and that it actually has um, the features and capabilities that the customer wants. So with this product, they have combined high-level hardware. They've combined multiple different carriers so that you get robustness. They do the bonding. Um, you get, and, and like the bonding, the Speed Fusion bonding, Speed Fusion uh, is Peplink's bonding, um, you know, uh, name. That's like $100 a month to get that by itself. And they're including that in here with the, you know, smart and the other tier, I forget the top tier um, name. 
and um, and then it's already pre-configured and most people never have to touch anything. You might want to tell them, hey, this is what I want for my Wi-Fi password. Okay, so on the bottom of both units, it has the QR code that you can scan or a text number that you can do. If I scan the QR code, it basically goes to this website. Um, and this is basically the support website. So I can click get help. Now, once I type in my name, my email address, um, this is the next page that you get. And you can see that you have a text, you have a phone that you can call, you can email them as well. Or if I want something specific, because I want like this ticket that I'm talking about, you can type in uh, these specific things. So if I, I can hit like change settings, and then it um, gives you this drop down of different settings that you might want to change. And it could be, like you said, it could be uh, specific traffic. I guess one thing I didn't mention before is the bonding on this smart tier is bonding only specific traffic. So they are, and, and you can adjust it if you really need to, but I think by default it's doing things like video conferencing, um, I forget what other, you know, uh, traffic that it um, puts in there and it bonds it because that's the one that it is going to be 100% uh, reliable. It's not going to drop out. But if you're streaming, you know, YouTube, uh, that does not need to, need to be bonded. It's a lot of bandwidth that it's going to take up if you use that for bonding. And YouTube already buffers, so it's not going to hurt you if that drops out for a split second. Um, so that's what the smart tier does. But if you want to change any of that, you can do that. If you want to change Wi-Fi, again, you can just type in this stuff into here and submit it, and they will get it changed and then text you back and tell you, hey, this has been updated. Okay, and so since I've had it here uh, for over a month now, I have not had my internet go down a single time, right? Uh, has it switched between T-Mobile and at and I have no idea. Um, but I know my connection has never uh, faulted. So um, that tells me that this device works. Speed-wise, I was getting fairly comparable to what, um, you know, I have at and um, Internet Air, which is their 5G service. I'm getting comparable speed to them when I am on at and on here. And when I'm on T-Mobile, I'm getting comparable speed to what I was at at, like, the the G4 AR without an antenna are um, the um, Arcadian, the KVD-21. The G5 AR is faster than this one. And I think both of these, if I'm not mistaken, have the X62 modem. So that's a uh, very similar modem, if not the same modem, uh, chipset that the uh, home internet uh, providers provide you in, in their setup as well. So the speeds, like I said, are similar. They're not drastically faster they're not drastically slower uh, it's within the same realm now they do easily take a antenna so i actually had this one because this is my t-mobile sim card i had this one hooked up to a waveform quad pro set up in the attic to make it get better connection um, because it gives me faster speed so that is something you can still do with this is add antennas to them but otherwise i would say that they're not faster or slower um, in general by themselves than the um the internet service provider ones now that's a little bit different if you have deprioritization going on at your place because these are higher priority so that's the only caveat for me i don't seem to really get a lot of um, speed reduction um, around here so if you do get that a lot then this might actually be faster if you don't it's probably gonna be similar okay so once you're using these guys you actually have multiple ethernet ports that you can use this one has two, the, the B1 has uh, two WAN ports, and then the um, the mini 5G one has one WAN port, and then it has two Ethernet ports, whereas the B1 has four Ethernet ports you can use. So you get a total of, I guess that's five LAN ports that you could use, but I think both of these WAN ports, I'm not sure both of these can be actually reconfigured as an extra LAN port or not. I, I forget if they can or if one of these LAN ports could be switched as a WAN port as well. So there is some setting adjustment. That's something that Waveform can certainly help you with. But what's, like I said, what's really cool, these have Wi-Fi um, built into them. So you're getting Wi-Fi um, out of this, and then you're getting two internet service providers, and then you're also getting a router set up with Ethernet connections as well. So um, this is like your one-and-done system that you can have at your uh, home or business to give you fast, reliable internet. So hopefully I answered a lot of your questions. If you want to try this out, do go check out Waveform's website. I'm not sure. Actually, I haven't asked or checked, but I have a coupon code, Nader Tater, that works for almost all their products where you can get a discount. Maybe it gives you a discount on uh, Waveform Internet. I should probably know that by now, but I don't. Um, so check that out. Um, sign up for it. And, you know, Waveform is really eager to get people to test this and 
uh, give them feedback so they can continuously improve if they need to or roll this out uh, to more users.